Hello, so let's continue. In activity 1.4, we are asked, for the voltage amplifier model created in the previous problem, define the open circuit voltage gain, the closed circuit voltage gain, the current gain, and the power gain. Okay, so let's start. So let's draw our voltage amplifier. With an input impedance Ri, we are using a voltage control voltage source to model the amplification factor. A V is the open circuit voltage gain. And this amplifier has an output impedance R out. This is our voltage in. This is our voltage out. So once again, this is our amplifier circuit model. And we are going to connect it to some source. Actually, we can do it in terms of voltage input and some load RL. So with that, let's start. First part, the open circuit voltage gain. So the open circuit voltage Gain. Now, when we are talking about a gain, it's going to be always a ratio, the output voltage over the input voltage. So I'm going to define A for open circuit, AO. The open circuit voltage gain is the output voltage over the input voltage when we disconnect the load. R, L is disconnected, there is no load. Or equivalently, we can say that RL, the load, is infinity. So either we disconnect it, or we set it equal to infinity. So if that happens, let's calculate using circuit analysis what the output voltage is. So what is the output voltage at this node here for RL equals infinity or RL disconnected? Well, the current output current is going to be zero because we have an open circuit and therefore it's not going to be we are not going to have any voltage drop from this node to the output node now what was the voltage here the voltage we are given that it is a the amplification factor times voltage input and what is the voltage input this yes the voltage input now this cancels so we get a v. This is one of the reasons why this gain is called the open circuit gain. Now, let's do this under closed circuit conditions. Now, what happens if R L is no longer infinity, but RL is actually finite. Okay, so I'm going to say A sub C is the again output voltage over input voltage. Gain is always going to be a ratio. Under what conditions? Closed circuit conditions. So RL. Is it infinity? No, that would be disconnected. It's going to be less than infinity. It's going to be finite. Therefore, we do not have an open circuit. So let's calculate it. What is the output voltage now? There. Well, the voltage at this node, if we know the voltage at this node, we just have a voltage divider. And the expression for the voltage divider is given by RL. Whoop, sorry. over RL plus R out times the voltage in this node, which is AV times the input voltage. We are dividing this by the input voltage, this cancels, and so what is the expression that we get? In this case, 
is that our closed circuit voltage gain is equal to let's do it here let's do it here rl over rl plus r out times the open circuit voltage gain so in the case of the closed circuit voltage gain we have the gain that we started with the open circuit voltage and then we are going to have some attenuation if you realize rl over rl plus something is always going to be less than one now you want that to be as close to one as possible which again requires rl being much 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 greater than that out and if that happens then you will be in a situation where ac will be approximately equal to the av which is the open circuit gain okay So, open circuit, open circuit voltage gain, closed circuit voltage gain, it's loaded. Let's define the current gain. So, in this case, I'm going to use A also for gain, I for current. It's a gain again, so it's going to be a ratio. And all gains are going to be a ratio of what you define as the output over what you define as the input. If we are talking about voltage, output voltage over input voltage. If we are talking about current, it's going to be output current over input current. So let's do it. Output current over input current. So let's use some circuit analysis to uh, determine this. Now, what is the output current? Well, this is the current, I output. What is the input current? This is the current going through here, I input. Now, the input current, how do we find that? Well, if we know the output voltage, V out, and we have a load, this is going to be V out over RL. Similarly, at the input, it's going to be the input voltage over RI. And so, what do we have here? V output over V input, right? Ri over Rl, which is equal to, what was this expression equal to? That was the gain. A, V, Ri over Rl. So the current gain is going to be proportional to the voltage gain that you have, as well as to the input impedance and inverse proportional to the load impedance. So that makes sense, right? The higher you have your input impedance, the smaller the input current is going to be, you are drawing very little current. And the smaller you have your R out, the biggest the output current is going to be. Okay, let's do the final power gain. I'm going to use G for power gain. Oops, and we find that as the output power and the input power. Now, you know from your fundamental circuit analysis that power is what? Voltage times current. So, output voltage times output current. Mm -hmm. This voltage and this current. And the input, we are doing the same thing. Input voltage, the voltage between these two terminals and the current. Right? So what is this equal to? This is A, V, and this is the current gain. Or A, V times, we defined it before, A, V, R, I, 
uh, L, which is equal to AV square RI RL. So we define the open circuit voltage gain, and that's the voltage gain under open circuit conditions, disconnecting the load or with a load that is equal to infinity. The closed circuit voltage gain, the gain of a voltage over input when the load is connected, the current gain, the ratio of the output current over the input current, as well as the power gain, the output power over the input power. Now, in the next activity, we are going to use a voltage amplifier and actually to derive impressions of the output voltage across the load input voltage, having an, a source with an input impedance, as well as actually doing already a practical example, plugging in some numbers and seeing these loading effects that happened in the input stage due to the finite input impedance and in the output stage due to the finite output impedance. Thank you.